keep you company, baby. Monday morning. F yeah, let's go. Welcome back. I'm Diana. You're watching the Ube Cap. No cap recap of last week at the UBC. Now, here's everything you may have missed at the UBC last week. In news, UBC recently removed the nutritional and caloric information in first year residence dining room. Our writer, Kushi Patil, spoke to representative of UBC Food Services to learn why. In culture, we've got some 2022 Vancouver International Film Festival reviews. Caleb Peterson gives his take on a documentary film, The Grizzly Truth, which detailed the Vancouver Grizzlies' move to Memphis 20 years ago. Tanisha Gandhi, on the other hand, provides her take on Call Jane, which highlights the abortion rights in the 60s. In science, October has been unusually sunny compared to our usual Vancouver life, but this is sounding alarm bells for climate experts at UBC. Writer Shereen Lee has all the details. Finally, in blog, from Buchanan to Forestry, or first year dorm to the nest, listening to music during these commutes is a must. Our writer, Thomas McLeod, has a perfect walking playlist for you to keep you company, baby! For opinion, have a hot take. If you want to write an opinion letter, visit the following link or send an email to opinion at ubc.ca. That's everything you may have missed last week. Pick up a copy of our latest issue all around campus or click the links in the description to check out all the articles. See you next week.